this video it's uh, quite a different one today um, because we are going to uncover Olive um, who you can see behind us there in her, um, in her cover um, we're not quite sure what we're going to find under there it's, she's been uh, covered up now for around 18 months or so um, we were supposed to be doing some uh, restoration work uh, and getting her back to a former glory last year but we were so busy we never got around to it so she just ended up staying undercover most of well all of last year um so uh we thought we'd video this um video the uh uncovering sorry about the bus going by um video the uncovering and um then we'll do a series of videos um on the jobs that we're going to do to uh restore her back to her um previous self i suppose um so um Let's go and have a look, see what she looks like. Okay, so let's um, get Olive uncovered. Now, Olive is a 1977 uh, Devon conversion. So she's 43 years old now. Um, she was converted by Devon, and Devon actually were one of the few um, camper converters um, that was registered, that was licensed, sorry, by um, Volkswagen. Now, these vans, um, we've been rolling off the uh, production line for probably now 71 years. Um, I guess with the first one actually being available to market um, in 1950. It was actually March 1950, so about 70 years ago these things were available to actually buy for the first time. And when they came off the uh, production line, they were known as a Type 2. Um, so this was the Type 2 T1, which was the original split screen. And then they've got the Type 2 T2, which is a bay window, which is what Olive is here, which has been converted by Devon into um, the camper. So let's get the rest of these clips on, undone. Well, the last one undone. And um, we shall get um, Olive uncovered. Okay, so the clips are undone. And um, let's uh, get the covers off and uh, see what we've got. Under here, I'm hoping there's still a camper van under here. So um, here she is. Let's have a look. I've not seen her for over 18 months. I've not even peeped underneath the covers or anything. So um, hoping she's still in intact. There she is. Well, the front's still here, which is always a good thing. And I can't see at the moment. I can't see at the moment if there's any uh, wildlife living in the front, so that's also a good thing. Ah, we wondered where that went. We found an old man there. An old magnetic sign uh, stuck on the side. I thought it had dropped off one of the vans somewhere. She is, here's Olive, fully uncovered for the first time in 18 months so let's go and have a walk around see what we've got so we'll take you around this is the first time i've seen it in 18 months and uh so it'll be the first time um that we've uh, done this on the uh, video as well so the front looks pretty much as it did um a few bits of rust marks are in the front panel there that you can see um same down this side you know we've still got um the rusty surface rust here along the here uh, along the gutters and on the roof and Got a bit of uh, rust here around the bottom of the door, um, but the sides they pretty much look as they did when we uh, covered her up. So there's nothing too much I'm worrying about there at the moment. Um, the back, um, we, yeah. So we did start doing some work here, as you can see, um, and actually up here on the gutters, um, but we've. Uh, didn't really get 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 as far as we'd like with that, but um, we can come back to that and sort that out, um, which is fine. Um, and again on this side, that's pretty good condition really. Again, you know, there's a bit it needs a bit of a, a clean, 
um, probably a bit of a lick of paint around the top and the gutters again we've, we've started doing some work on there to um, to fix the corrosion but it was on a surface anyway but we'll, we'll just need to tidy that up um, there's a piece of welding gone on down here um, that needs uh, painting um, it is it is a bit mucky um, I guess you would be if you had been covered up for 18 months too um, so yeah and Fortunately, it doesn't look like it's um, deteriorated too much while it's been under the cover, which is great news and uh, means we can get on and uh, start to restore it. So I've got the keys here, so we can uh, open her up and have a peep inside. Um, we're not going to start her up because the battery will be flat, um, so we can do that on another video. Um, but I think before we start her up, we're going to have to drain the uh, fuel out. Um, because the fuel's probably gone off over the last um, 18 months that it's been covered up. Now, with these vans, some of them come with a absolute whole bunch of keys because they've all got different locks, and this one is uh, no different. Um, so I've just got to find the right key to uh, get inside. And there we have it. So, oh, <laughs> inside the uh, door handle's fallen off. Um, but actually, the good news is there's no wildlife in here, um, so there's no animals broken in and made it their home. Um, the seats still pretty good condition, a little bit of probably a little bit of mold on there. Um, but actually, all in all, not a lot different than uh, how we'd uh, left it when we parked parked her up. Uh, as you can see here, there's. Um, rust there i know exactly where that's from because if you take a look under this door if laura can get the camera under that you'll see the bottom of the doors are rusted out um so we know that's one of the jobs um which we need to address and um that's the same around the uh that's the same around the other side as well so that's the driver's side so let's take a look around different key for the passenger's door um, we, I think we've had this van now three, four years, something like that. We actually bought it from uh, a show in Totten Park, one of the VW shows there, back in 2017 or 2018. Can't actually quite remember, um, but we, we have had her a long time now. Um, and we did promise the previous owners we would restore her um, back to her former self. Um, so, if you want to come round here, Laura? Um, we can uh, we'll point the video inside. There's a passenger side. You can see there's a bit of water, um, I think, coming down from the inside because we've got the uh, kick panel here has all uh, come away. So we'll get all that stripped out and replace the kick panel. So that's not a big job at all. And we've just got this surface rust to deal with um, that's um, quite common on these vehicles, really. And again, this door. Yeah. Put the camera under there long, you'll see this door's rotted through underneath as well. Um, can actually get replacement parts under there. Um, there's a replacement panel that we'll, we'll weld in there and sort that out. Um, now inside the uh, camping area. And the door opens. Again. Well, it's actually okay. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't smell, and um, there's no mould or anything. So uh, yeah, it's quite quite pleasing to see that it's all in um, the same condition it was when we uh, parked her up last time. Um, this is all original um, Devon cabinetry um, from the 1970s, I guess. Um, ideally, we want to we want to retain this. Um, we just want to give it a good cleaning and try and keep the 1970s feel. Um, to the van. So if anybody watching, um, hopefully some, somebody is watching, um, any ideas or suggestions in terms of how we go about um, bringing this back to life and getting it as, as nice and new, like new as possible, um, let us know. I don't think it's in bad condition. I genuinely think it just needs um, a good clean. And even the roof lining, as you can see, is in pretty good condition up there. So that's the inside, let's go and take a look around the back in the uh, engine bay. Okay, so let's um, take a look inside the engine bay. One thing I did notice actually, and I should have pointed out, and it's been here a while, we've got a bit of a rust all down here. 
Um, I don't know if Laura can get the camera down. So a bit of a rust hole down here we need to um, sort out. That's probably the worst bit of it, to be fair. Um, I did try to fix this uh, when we first got the van, um, but I was trying to take the bumper off, but what I have found out is that the bumper um, underneath there is a little captive bolt, which is uh, not captive anymore, so we'll have to get the ground ropes and put that off. Um, so that's one of the first jobs we will do. So, inside the engine bay, hopefully there'll be nothing living in here. Um, no, there's nothing in here. Um, engine's quite clean. Um, not too, no real corrosion issues, I don't think. Um, what we will do, as I said just, just earlier there, we'll, we'll drain out the old petrol um, before we try to um, start, start her up. Uh, and give that battery a charge, hopefully the battery um, will get it going. We'll probably have to replace that because it's not been used for about 18 months, so the battery's probably not much use now. Um, yeah, so uh, that's that. And then down this side, again, we've, we've actually been, been along there. Um, there's nothing much um, to deal with other than that patch that needs um, painting. So, um, that's Olive. Um, hope you like her, um, hope you're looking forward to watching the further videos of us uh, doing various jobs on her, restoring her and getting her back to her former self. Um, there's quite a few uh, mechanical jobs um, that need doing on there, there's a few advisories from this last MOT that need addressing, uh, I think we've got some corrosion on the brake pipes that need um, doing and uh, I think there's a burn issue um, on this near side front wheel here so we'll have a look at that as well. Um, this van's got belly pans on it, um, so we're not quite sure what's under the belly pans, um, but we think it's it's in pretty good condition. But we may just take a look under there just to see there's nothing, um, no holes working or anything like that. Um, so other than that, hope you um, enjoyed the look around Olive, and uh, hope you can join us on some more videos when we actually start doing some work on her to. Uh, Get her back into uh, good condition, and then actually, what we will do, you know, once we've got her sorted and back into uh, good condition, we'll go out for a few drives in her and uh, take you out around the uh, northwest with uh, Olive and show you some of the sights. So, if anybody is thinking of hiring a camper van from us, um, we'll also be able to give you a few ideas of where you might want to take one um, when you come around our way. So that's it, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, any comments, any ideas of what you want to see and how you want us to um, restore it, um, just leave it at the bottom and uh, hopefully we'll uh, capture a few ideas and uh, some recommendations etc. which will be uh, good and we'll look at those. So thank you and uh, we will uh, see you soon.